Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with the center of, along with these uh, two perpendicular segments, uh, C, D, and O, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, O, D equal to this segment uh, C, D. And moreover, uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, B, D is two units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. Let's assume uh, the radius uh, of this quarter circle uh, OB is uh, lowercase uh, r. Then this radius uh, OA is going to be lowercase r as well. And now we know that this uh, tiny segment BD is 2. So therefore uh, this remaining segment uh, OD is going to be lowercase r minus 2. And if uh, this uh, OD segment is R minus 2, then this uh, CD segment is going to be R minus 2 as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of our radius uh, lowercase uh, R. And here's our next step. I'm going to connect uh, this center row with this uh, vertex uh, C, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this... Uh, OC is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So I'm going to label this uh, radius as uh, lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, our hypotenuse is lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, r minus 2 and r minus 2 as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, r minus 2 whole uh, square plus likewise uh, r minus 2 whole square is going to be equal to lowercase r square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply this identity on these uh, two binomials. So therefore we are going to have uh, r square minus 4 times r plus 4 plus likewise r square minus 4 times r plus 4 equal to r square. And here we can see that this r square and r square they are gone. And if we combine the like terms on the left hand side we are going to get uh, r square minus uh, 8 times r plus 8 is going to be equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation uh, r square minus 8r plus 8 equal to 0. And now I am going to show you how to get this uh, quadratic equation uh, by using the second method as well. And now let's focus on this uh, whole uh, quarter circle and now we are going to consider this uh, whole uh, circle and furthermore uh, this uh, OF is going to be the radius of this uh, circle and likewise this OB is the radius uh, lowercase r as well so therefore this uh, radius is going to be lowercase r and furthermore we can see that uh, this uh, CE is the code and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, uh, if a radius of a circle is uh, perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So no wonder uh, this radius uh, is going to bisect uh, this chord uh, CE into two equal parts. This uh, CD equal to this uh, DE. In other words, uh, these two segments uh, C, D and D, E are equal in length. If this is uh, lowercase r minus 2, then this has got to be lowercase r minus 2 as well. 
and furthermore let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole segment uh, fd is going to be r plus r minus 2 if we add them that is going to give us 2r minus 2 and now let's recall the intersecting chords uh, theorem According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, then the products of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see we got these two chords A, C and B, D, and they intersect each other. And as a result, we are ended up with these segments A, B, C and D respectively such that uh, a times b must be equal to c times d and now we are going to apply this uh, intersecting chords theorem on our this given problem and here we got these uh, two chords uh, f b and this chord uh, c e and they intersect uh, each other at this point uh, d and as a result we are ended up with these uh, segments uh, f d b d c d and d e and this segment is 2 r minus 2 this segment is 2 this is r minus 2 and this is uh, r minus 2 as well so therefore i'm going to multiply 2 times 2 r minus 2 and that is going to be equal to r minus 2 times uh, r minus 2 so therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, 2 r minus uh, 2 is going to be equal to r minus 2 times uh, r minus uh, 2 and now we are going to make a distribution and here i'm going to make a double uh, distribution so therefore we are going to get uh, 4 times r minus 4 is going to be equal to r square minus 2 times r minus 2 times r and then uh, plus uh, 4 let's combine these uh, like terms so therefore uh, negative 2r and negative 2r is going to give us uh, negative 4r over here and now i'm going to move uh, everything uh, on the other side so therefore we can write uh, r square minus uh, 4r plus uh, 4 and then minus uh, 4r plus 4 equal to 0 let's combine the like terms so that's going to give us uh, r square minus uh, 8 r plus uh, 8 uh, equal to 0 and now let's make an observation we can see we are ended up with the very same quadratic equation r square minus 8 r plus 8 equal to 0 exactly same like uh, this one by using the second method as well and now our task is uh, to solve this uh, given quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula and here's our well-known quadratic formula we are going to use it to calculate uh, our radius r and now we can see our uh, a value is 1 b value is negative 8 and c value is uh, 8 and we are going to fill in the blanks in this given quadratic formula so therefore our lowercase r is going to be equal to 8 plus r minus the square root of negative 8 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 8 and we are going to divide all over 2 times a is 1 and here if we simplify we are ended up with the lowercase r value as 4 plus minus 2 times the square root of 2 and now we got these two signs positive and negative we are going to split them so therefore we are ended up with the lowercase r equals to 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2 and the other r value is going to be equal to 4 minus 2 times the square root of 2 and now let's make an observation we can see lowercase r equals to 4 minus 2 times square root of 2 value is not feasible since this value is going to give us a negative length cd so therefore we are going to reject this value 
and we are going to accept uh, r equals to 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 and since we figured out uh, our radius uh, lowercase uh, r so therefore now we are going to calculate the area of this given quarter circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius so therefore uh, the quarter circle area has got to be pi times uh, r square and we are going to divide it by 4 and now we are going to substitute this uh, lowercase r value over here so therefore we can write this thing as uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, 4 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 whole square and now let's recall another famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial so therefore we can write this one as uh, pi divided by 4 and that is going to give us uh, 16 plus uh, 16 times uh, square root of uh, 2 plus uh, 8 let's combine these uh, like terms so therefore we can write uh, this one uh, pi times uh, 24 plus uh, 16 times square root of 2 and then I'm going to divide this thing uh, by 4 over here so therefore this whole thing simplifies to pi times uh, 6 uh, plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 square units so thus the area of this quarter circle turns out to be pi times 6 plus 4 times square root of 2 square units and that is going to be equal to approximately 36.62 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye